talk to the people who truly are selling a product or a service okay mm -hmm. those would be we're all in sales but this is the person who's chosen sales for a living mm. so I go around the country and I'm speaking to sales and, 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 and you know salespeople have they ever given made an excuse for why they didn't close a deal always that's excuse. always so I want to know like what are the top excuses for not closing a deal so I interview like probably a thousand salespeople you know why did it not happen why did the person walk? And there's, there seems to be these major excuses. One is price. Mm. Too expensive, it had been cheaper, you know, I could have sold if it was cheaper. Two is the product. It's not the product they wanted, it's not exactly what they wanted, it's the product. Three is the economy. The economy's terrible, they didn't buy. Four is the marketing. You know, the advertising wasn't good, the marketing wasn't good. If they advertised it better, I could have sold it. And five is territory. You know, if I lived over there, I could sell, but no, I'm stuck here. So you've heard those, right? No. Price and product and, and, yeah. and so that's what salespeople. Salespeople, and many of our people listening, when they don't close a deal, that's why they say. That's, mm -hmm. that's the excuse they give or the reason they give. So I thought to myself, well, let me go interview like a thousand customers. Let me ask some customers. You're this close to closing a deal, but you, you choose not to. You walk and you buy from someone else. Why? Well, interestingly enough, very seldom did they say that it was the price or the product or the economy or the territory or the marketing. Almost on every occasion, they said there was one reason why they walked. They didn't like the salesperson. Yeah. It was the salesperson. You didn't seem to be quite in it or there was something that rang off. I didn't connect. You. I didn't like him. He was too pushy. He didn't talk enough. He wasn't in it for the law. It, it doesn't make any difference. Yeah. Why? They didn't like the salesperson. So. Then when I'm in front of salespeople, I say, look, I'm in sales too. We are very ego-driven people. We have to be because that's why we're good at sales. Our egos are mm -hmm. high and they're intense. However, our egos can get in our own way. And, because the number, and then I say to my groups, I'm going to ask you a question now. And if you can't answer yes to this question, you will never be successful in sales as, as you could be. And the question is, how many of you, by a show of hands, are willing to admit publicly that your own personality could get in your way of closing a deal? That's the key question. Because if we can admit, it could be me. It could be me. Mm -hmm. That's the first step to doing therapy with anyone. That's the first mm -hmm. step to change. That's the first step that it could be me. Mm -hmm. And then I have top salespeople say, but Connie, that, I mean, look at my, look at me. I'm the top salesman in the company. And I said, but you're still leaving money on the table. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to talk about the people who closed the deal. I'm here to talk about the people who walked. Mm -hmm. Everyone, every person in sales has left money on the table because of our own personality. And so that's what I teach salespeople is to to get away from your own person. Sometimes it works, but how to recognize when it's not working and how to change so that the other person is in a better frame of mind to buy. So this is about self-esteem? This is about belief? This is about what? Well, it's, it's, it is about confidence. It's about the confidence to not think that your way of selling is always right. Mm. It's about the confidence to think that, that people have different kinds of buying styles and that we need to, to make the other person comfortable more than we make ourselves comfortable. So stop making excuses. So. Stop making excuses. Yeah. Normally it's you. It's something you did. Mm -hmm. So figure it out. It's not the price. It's not the economy. What is it that you could have said or done that made this person not want to do business with you? Mm -hmm.